to... Are you finished? Yo, what is good, y'all? So the All-Star Reserves were just announced, so now we have the full All-Star teams. All right, and they, they're going back to East versus West format. No more drafting, even though I did kind of like the drafting. It was fun. But this is going to be East versus West. So I put the East All-Stars on the Celtics, who are the best team in the East, record-wise. And then I put all the West All-Stars on the Timberwolves, who, as of the recording of this video, are the best team in the West, record-wise. So out east, the starters are Tyrese Halliburton, Damian Lillard, Jason Tatum, Giannis, and Joel Embiid. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think Dame should have been a starter. I think it should have. I think in my All Star predictions video, I said Trey Young. As time passed, I think it should have been Brunson or Mitchell. But you know, that's neither here nor there. We can't really control that. So, hey, what can you do? Then off the bench for the East, we have Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brunson, Jalen Brown, Bam Adebayo, Tyrese Maxey, Paolo Banquero, and Julius Randle. <coughs> so everyone in that made the All-Stars in the East, I predicted them making it, except for Julius Randle. I don't think he should have made it over Trey Young. I think Trey Young should have been an All-Star. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you can do about it. I think Trey Young got robbed. That's all I can say. And out West, so the starters are SGA, Luka, wherever Luka is, Luka, LeBron, KD, and Jokic off the bench, Booker, Curry, Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, and Paul George, Anthony Edwards, and Carl Anthony Towns. But these are the 2024 All-Stars. So as of right now, Embiid and um, Julius Randle are probably going to get injury replacements because Julius Randle has his like shoulder issue, so he's going to be out for a few weeks, so he's probably going to get an injury replacement. And it was just announced today that Embiid has, what does he have? Oh, that Embiid tore his meniscus, so Embiid's going to miss games and won't qualify for MVP or the other awards, and so he's going to get an injury replacement. What they're probably going to do is slide either Bam or Brown up to the starting lineup, and then there's going to be another, there's going to be injury replacement for the reserve. Same thing with um, Julius Randle. Out West, I think they're all going to play, unless Anthony Davis or LeBron, unless their injuries are severe, maybe they're going to miss the All-Star game. So yeah, we're going to send the season to see who has, which uh, All-Star team has a better season. Um, but that doesn't really matter because they're going to meet in the finals, or they should meet in the finals. And then we're going to see who wins the seven-game series between the East and West All-Stars. And just so you guys are aware, every all this, everyone on the All-Star team is going to get minutes. Once we get to the playoffs to the actual matchup between the East versus West, I'm going to make it a 10-man rotation. So the bottom two players won't be getting minutes, but that's whatever. All right, so the Eastern Conference All-Stars won 74 games, and the Western Conference All-Stars won 78. So right now, 2K is saying that the Western Conference All-Stars are better, which could be true if we reflect it on real life, realistically. But hey, it's 2K. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm just going to sim round by round because it shouldn't be close. Yeah, sweep in the first round for both. Um, Sweep in the East and the West, they they lost two games to the Kings. Fox and Sabonis are mad that they got snubbed, I guess. All right, Jokic and Embiid, of course, for their respective teams. All right, so this is what we've been waiting for. We gonna go game by game through SimCast. Let's see, game one, uh, the West All Stars. It looks like they kind of running away with it. They're win they've been winning every quarter, and unless it is a big comeback, yeah, now nah, this one's over. Let's see, game one, what happened? SGA and Jokic kind of did it, but it was still an all round game. For the East, it looked like it was like Tatum, Dame, and Giannis. And then it was a little eh after that. All right, game two. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping we get a close one so we can jump in. Uh, okay, we're starting off with a little bit of back and forth. 
a lot of back and forth actually. Okay, is this the, is this a game where we jump in? Oh, uh, hold on, he's taking the lead. Four minutes left. It's close. Three minutes left. Uh, four point game, one point game, two minutes thirty five. We jumping in, and East are up by one. All right, so let me just choose sides, and then let's see. So they got the East got Bam, Giannis, Halliburton, Brunson, and Tatum out, and the West has AD, Booker, KD, Curry, and Luca out right now. Okay, Curry trying to get right by Halliburton. He kind of does, but stops. AD with the ball being guarded by Bam. Curry getting handoff by AD. Curry pump fakes twice. Passes it to Luca, who has the mismatch with Brunson. I'm not going to lie. Yo, uh, Luca posting up Brunson, and Brunson fouls. That was his fifth foul. Okay, Luca at the free throw line. First one is good. And the second one is good as well. The West All-Stars take the lead. Okay, Donovan Mitchell's in now for the East. And for the West, LeBron's in. All right, Halliburton dribbling the ball. Gives it to Donovan Mitchell. Screen by Halley. Mitchell, what you finna do? Giannis catches it wide open. He shoots the three. Giannis, that is not your game. That is not your bread and butter. Get your big ass in the paint. All right, LeBron being guarded by Tatum. LeBron trying to get by Tatum, gets stopped a little bit, passes out to KD, KD being guarded by Giannis. Jokic with the screen. Jokic with the, oh, that's a mismatch. I don't know why Donovan Mitchell was guarding Jokic there. All right, Tatum dribbling it down. Uh, the West All-Stars up by three, giving it to Giannis, being guarded by KD. Giving it to Bam. Where's Embiid at? Did he foul out? Halliburton shoots the three. And it's good. 5% covered by Curry. I think that was. Was that Curry? That could, yeah, it was Curry. All right. LeBron with the ball. Guarded by Tatum again. Gives it to Jokic. Open midi. It's good. And they take the lead again. High, A lot of high-powered offense. A lot of back and forth in this one. And I don't know why Tatum's running point when you have Tyrese Halliburton on the floor, but hey, I guess I guess that's how it is. Donovan Mitchell with the ball. Gives it to Giannis. Yo, why has Giannis been standing on the perimeter this entire game? Screen by Tatum. Pick and roll. Tatum with the Euro. Goes for the lay and misses it. 100% smothered by LeBron. LeBron bringing down with the fast break dunk. Oh my god. I didn't realize how open he was until he took off. Alright, they make any changes? Nope, still running the same lineups. Okay. Alright, Bam inbounding it, gives it to Halliburton. The East All-Stars are down by four, so they gotta do something now. Pick and roll to Bam. Bam, wide open lay. It's good. And they are down by two now. They need a stop and a score after. Luka dribbling it down. What's he going to do with it? Jokic with the screen. Luka pump fakes the three. Gives it to LeBron. LeBron posting up. Isoing. Oh, he called ISO on Tatum. Gets right by Tatum for the lay. And that one might be it. Let's see if the Celtics, or not the Celtics, if the East All-Stars can get a quick one. Quick, If they can get a quick bucket and foul on the other end. Alright, Halliburton's wide open. Bam not passing it. Now Halliburton got it. Uh, Donovan Mitchell to Tatum. Tatum pull up midi. It's good. <laughs> Alright. So East All-Stars only down by two now. And they foul Steph Curry. Yeah, he's going to make both. We, we already know how this that goes. Um, I'm going to go back to the Simcast just in case. He makes both. And yeah, that's over. Alright, let's see. SGA had a great game. Why wasn't he in, in the game? Oh, he fouled out. Okay, makes sense. Did anyone foul out for the East? Uh, wrong button. Uh, Dame and Embiid fouled out. Okay, that makes sense then with their lineup. But Giannis had 31 for them. Then I don't know why Giannis was at the perimeter the entire game. Tatum had a good game, had three blocks. Dame was having a good game before he fouled out. And Halliburton, 15 and 14 assists. My God. All right, so the West All-Stars go up 2-0. 
can the East All-Stars win the game, or are they about to get swept? Okay, the East All-Stars have a commanding first quarter, tied in the second. West kind of took, had it in the, oh, I just realized it is a three-point game. Um, I'm just, okay, yeah, I'm just going to keep simcasting that one. I didn't realize how close it was. If I knew, I would have stopped it so we could have stepped in and watched. <laughs> All right, game three will happen. And B, Mitchell, Giannis ha- were the leaders of that game. And then in the West, SGA, Jokic, Curry. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so the East All-Stars said they not going out like that. But the West All-Stars still up 2-1. Let's see what happens. Game four. Oh my god, West All-Stars have a commanding first quarter. Yeah, now nah, this game, this game might be done. Um, yeah, this one's over. West All-Stars had it the entire game for real. It wasn't even close. Let's see what happened. And Bede had 29, Mitchell with 24. Dame had an inefficient 22, though. And then on the West side, LeBron 27, uh Luca 19 and 12. It was just an all-around good game for the West. All right, 3-1. Let's see what happens. Okay, East All-Stars start with the lead. Uh, and then West take over in the second, so now it's a bunch of back and forth. But the West is taking over in the third, and is this it? This one might be it. Oh, hold on. They, the East trying to put up a fight in the fourth. But it looks like it's over. Uh, Is it going to be? Can they pull back in? Nope. It is over. So the West All-Stars 1-5. To be fair, the West All-Star team is just better all around. It, especially if you just look at 2K, like, overall wise are just better. Like, let me see. The West, 98, 98, 97, 96, 96, 96, 96, 94. And then you look at the East, 98, 98, but then 97, 95, 90. Like, they just, the overalls just drop quicker. So, yeah, in 2K, the East All-Stars just did not have a chance. Will it be the same in real life? I don't know. We'll see. I kind of do want the East All-Stars to win, but if, I, if I'm being real, the West All-Stars are probably going to take it in real life, uh, especially because Embiid and um, Randall not going to play. So, Trey Young's probably going to get in, and I don't know who else is going to get in, but if not, they're not going to be on the same level as Embiid. So, so yeah, the East is already going to be at a disadvantage, so it seems like it's GG's for the East this year. I don't know. I mean, I know why, but I don't think they should be going back to East versus West because of shit like this. The whole reason they switched it up is because one conference is always better than the other. For real, it's rare that it's even, especially in the last like decade. It's usually been the West. So I feel like the draft format made it more even. Like you draft the teams, and the teams feel they feel more even, more or less. Now going back to East versus West, you're going back into the same problem they had before. So. We'll see what happens. See if at some point they go back to the draft or if it's going to stay East versus West from that from this point forward.